Hi everybody, Father Bill here, and it's a little windy, so I pardon, please pardon the wind if you hear it. Uh, I'm in the parking lot, and just on the back side of where Parkway enters, or we enter or exit from Parkway, is some, uh, well, some paving that's going on. And if you have lived on Parkway this last week or this week, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And as I pan around the back side here, you can see that there is whatever you call it that scrapes up the uh, asphalt and then gets it prepped for paving. And it's all uh, marked off there. And uh, I was gonna help go home and have a lunch, but I think I'm just gonna stay here. So, as we're doing that, here's a thought for you. Uh, yesterday I was watching this go down and it's almost, ah, oh, what's the word? It's kind of satisfying to watch where it digs up the, uh, the asphalt and lays bare that was underneath there and then paves over the roughness and the uh, whatever imperfections there with the new asphalt and then the steamroller comes over and just really smooths it out. There's something satisfying with that. I know maybe it's just a guy thing, a male spirituality. It's like, it's like mowing the lawn. I, when I mow the lawn, it's satisfying because I see the work done. It's cleaning something. Uh, it's like maybe when you get your hair cut. I know uh, for some, when you get your hair trimmed and it's because you have dead ends. And that haircut is, you can say, taking out those dead ends in your life or in your head or in your hair, I should say. Well, there's a lot of things like that in our lives that are satisfying because they are correcting something. But to do that, something has to be left behind or taken out or trimmed off. And ultimately, spiritually speaking, sin is like that. If we want to live a holy life, being persons who then take out or ask God to take out our, our sins or imperfections by asking for forgiveness, by going to confession, we have that ability through Christ who acts, gives us access to the sacraments because of what he's done for us. His death and resurrection on the cross has allowed for that to be the case, that a human being like the apostles were given the authority long ago, 2,000 years, to be able to say, and I absolve you of your sins, not in their own name, but in the name of Christ, because the priest is in persona Christi, is behaving and acting in the person of Jesus himself. So as I look at the paving again, and I think about even mowing the lawn, all these things are uh, ways for us to uh, find satisfaction. In the act of confession itself, there's a penance given, and that word for, con for penance, it could be translated also satisfaction. It's not something earned. It's something that is given to us ultimately by God. Yes, the priest gives us a penance itself, but we have satisfaction when we walk out of the, the confessional because of God's action, because Jesus Christ wants to absolve us and we were open to that thing so we could, the sacrament, so we could actually be the people that we want to be, the better versions of ourselves, that those sins are stripped away. But we're not left bare, like the uh, street there. It's not gonna be left bare. They're gonna be repaved. This reminds me of baptism. So we plunge a, a child or a person into the waters of baptism, signifying that they have died to sin and that means there's an empty space there where maybe sin was, and we want grace to replace it. Sometimes when I talk to people, and or even in my own life, when I feel that there's a sense of uh, evil in my life, I pray a prayer. Uh, I made it up on my own, or I don't know where I got it. But the idea was basically to confront the evil and call it by name and exercise it. In other words, my prayer is, Let's say it's fear. I'm, maybe I'm overcome by fear. My prayer would be something like this. Spirit of fear, in the name of Jesus, I command you to go to hell and never come back. Come Holy Spirit. Notice I'm asking, oh, actually, I'm not asking at all. I am telling, because I'm a baptized Christian, and I happen to be also a priest, that this evil has no part in my life, and I demand it to leave. And I command it in the name, not in my name, but in the name of Jesus. So it's like stripping away the bad stuff in my life, like the pavement that's not, you know, well uh, taken care of. And then I ask the Holy Spirit to come and say, take over in that space, like the asphalt, the new asphalt that will come in 
and pave a smooth ride for me to drive my car on, let's say, if I'm driving. Christ wants to be a highway for us. And it's through his grace, his love for us and his grace, that we have access to that very grace. And so let us, if I could be so bold, let us then take advantage of this. Recognize that Jesus loves each of, each of us. He wants us to be reconciled to his Father. And the way to do that is through his church. The church has been given the, the you could say, the authority to exercise the power of Christ in very special ways through the sacraments. Being reconciliation, being one of those really big sacraments. Obviously, the Mass is one of those sacraments as well, where we receive him in the Eucharist. That is, you know, bread for the journey. That is Christ's very presence to energize us and encourage us as we go through our days or in the summer to do what is supposed to be done, to do the right thing, and to have strength to not be tempted by evil, to go out and proclaim the gospel with enthusiasm, recognizing that he has done everything for us and he gives himself to us in the Eucharist. So it's wonderful that when these things happen in our neighborhood, even though it's kind of a pain that, <laughs> that I can't actually get home because as soon as they pave that uh, one side of the road, I can't cross it for a while. So I'm just gonna know, go back to the office and uh, have lunch there, be with the wonderful staff that, that the Holy Trinity has. And, uh, and I really do love them. Wonderful people, I enjoy, we have lots of fun. Uh, and sharing in our faith and just kidding around, but doing some serious work. I hope that this week and this weekend will be uh, profitable for you and your faith. Deacon Brett will be doing the uh, homily today or this coming weekend. Um, I will be away for two weekends, so you won't see a Friday video next week or the week after that for me. But you might see one that follows a little bit later from maybe the star party, and I'll let you figure out what all that means. That might mean something about a destination, but I will leave that again to your, your brilliance and your intuition. In the meantime, folks, God bless you. And um, uh, as, as for me and Snickers there, have a great day. Bye-bye.